Well, developers won't be able to construct any more surface parking lots downtown and in some surrounding areas. So this now after Cincinnati City Council unanimously voted this week to expand the surface lot ban. It goes into effect immediately. WLWT News says anchor Mike Dart is here now with much more on what exactly this is going to mean moving forward. Hi there. Hi Sheree and hi Ashley. Yeah, new surface lots are already banned in the central business district, but this new ban expands that to parts of over the Rhine Pendleton, Mount Adams, East End, West End and Mount Auburn too. According to the city planner, there's an oversupply of parking in those areas. Surface parking takes up 40% of that. City planner also saying these lots create dead zones for pedestrians. City Councilman Mark Jeffries has been behind the effort to ban these surface lots. He says passing the ban is beneficial to all of us because surface lots create environmental issues that cost the taxpayer, but it's also crucial for the city to create a more vibrant downtown and bring in some more money. I think like the Kroger building with the grocery store is a great example of that. Used to be a surface parking, 160 units. Now it's over 200 parking spaces, almost 200 residential plus a grocery store. We earn at least $200,000 in earnings tax from that. There are some exceptions that allow new surface lots to be built and operated for two to five years, but they would have strict guidelines to try to reduce environmental impact. The goal here, create a more walkable Downtown Cincinnati encourage people to use public transit like the streetcar. Mike Dardis, WLWT News 5.